So let's talk a little bit about, um, I guess, the threat landscape when it comes to Apple. And there's no, I guess, questions asked that we feel Apple is much more secure as an operating system compared to other platforms. But as that kind of you know, penetration increases, so does the attack surface. And hackers have started to recognize that in the as, workplace. As it's more desired, right? You know, as you said, it is in, it's an increasing uh, platform of choice, mm. which means that for an attacker, it's an increasing opportunity, right? Exactly, exactly that. And I think there's just certain areas to consider when it comes to Apple where there are in, increased risks. And I think mobile for sure is that uh, attack vector that people haven't really thought too much about. But of course, it's brought much more benefits in terms of productivity for users and enterprises. But of course, the nature of a mobile device is that it doesn't connect to the corporate network. Mm, yeah. There are multiple avenues when it comes to phishing. So our latest uh, security report, you can see here, 31% of organizations last year said that one of their users at least fell victim to a mobile phishing attack. Um, I guess I see this you know, often with customers that they've invested in an email filter, but on mobile you've got SMS that we're all being spanned by, claiming you've got you know uh, ATO credit but from uh, the recent tax returns I, alike. Right? I could actually speak really personally that I've been getting a lot of post office fake uh, phishing texts and things as of late, so it's definitely increasing. Mm. That's just people giving you all the favorite gifts out there. So, <laughs> I'm sure, um, I'm sure. <laughs> nonetheless, very crafty and very sophisticated often, and people yeah. are just clicking on these links, giving away their credentials, and that's all it takes for a major cyber attack. Um, so a very big one and a common one for mobile. Outside of that is things like Wi-Fi networks. Mm -hmm. So we have you know, executives that are often traveling to high-risk countries. They're connecting to airport lounges and cafes that ultimately can leak credentials as well as company data that the applications are being used on these devices. And topical, I think, you know, I increased, included this statistic is the latest trends that we've seen around the federal government blocking things like TikTok, non-compliant categories on a mobile can often be very difficult. So we're going to talk about how we help customers in this respect from a device and a network perspective. Yeah, that's great.